All right. What's better? Hold what? on real quick. Oh, okay. What's better? Sideways or? I like that. That's dope. Yeah, that's right. that's dope. That's perfect. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, cool. We're ready. All right, we're back, man. Uh, I got two of my favorite um, people in the fight game with me, JJ and Mike. What's up, guys? Hey. What up? How you guys doing? Pretty good. How about you? I'm good. Happy uh, belated birthday, Mike. I didn't. I didn't. Thanks. It's still my. I still consider it my birthday still. Oh my yeah. Birthday, all right. Bro. For the week or for the whole weekend. That's what's up. Hey, yeah. what were you got? Was that? Is that what Top Golf is? When you're hitting with the colors, is that called Top Golf? Yeah. 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 All right. You ever been? No, I've never been, but I've always heard about it. And then when I saw that, I was like, I think that's what it is. But I don't. Under, yeah. You just hit it in the colors. How does it work? Oh, they got different games. They got yeah, different. You oh, play, okay. like, they have like an Angry Bird game. You could try to like hit it. It's it's pretty fun. Oh shit! And it's all on that same. And that's you play different games from that same place, or it's like uh, you you move around. You know what no, I mean? You play the oh, okay. You get, a, you get one little bay, and, all right. and you just go. They get on the computer. It just has like different games. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, it looked like you guys did a couple things yesterday for your birthday. Uh, what was that? What were those little like? Those little like. Uh, it looked like a coin thing with oh, the, pl- with it was the actually, plants. It was just a coffee shop by us. Oh. It was like a coffee plant store. It was really cool, actually. Yeah, those little containers with, like, the, um, like, it looked like they had, like, little aquarium plant uh, cases yeah. or something. Like, I was like, damn, yeah, those are dope. Yeah, it was really cute. It yeah. was the first time we went to that one. That was, it was just, like, we had just found it. Ah. Uh, like, oh, this is a pretty dope place. Yeah, that did look cool. And then, yeah, yeah that view. I seen that view. That was out there, too, right? That uh, same day? That the last no picture? no that view was from uh, that view was from uh, when we went to uh, South Carolina. Oh yeah, that it was over was, the summer, dude. That was do- that looked dope. That shot right there, that looked incredible. yeah, that was yeah. really cool. Yeah, that looked fun. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to say that. Um, how are you guys feeling at, at like a few weeks out from um, that win over Julian? Uh, feel great. Yeah, first time I came out really like injury free, mm. like nothing going on, so feel really good. Nice. It was it was it was good. I mean, a little tired, but I mean, it, it, everything everything was perfect. Yeah, that's how I felt when that's I was it. watching it. Did you what, have you guys it. watched it a bunch of times? Yeah, yeah, we always go back to the hotel room and put it on. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah that's we, we watched it. We watched it a few times. And then when you watch it, do you guys like pick up like, damn, okay, or was it like because I me watching it, I was like anxious and nervous and stuff. But like after it was all said and done, I was like, man, to me as a fan of you guys, like I was like. That seemed like a perfect fight, like a perfect win. You know what I mean? It seems like so. I'm wondering, like, did when you guys watch it, are you like, oh, we fucked, you know, slipped up right there or whatnot? Uh, I think little parts, but as far as like the game plan, I think we stuck to it pretty well. Like, obviously, it was a complete different style change from my original opponent. I was yeah, looked like a striker, yeah, complete striker. So then when uh, we had the switch up, it was more just like go back to the same game plan as uh, Vanessa. Mm, yeah. Uh, the, like, that was just a couple different changes. So I felt like he touched his game plan really well. You know, he's a dangerous fighter, so we didn't yeah. want to get too many, like, scrambles where, you know, didn't really want to give her a chance to get anything off. And, yeah, I felt like we did what we were supposed to do that night. Yeah, I thought so, too. You are pumping that jab out there hella nice. That jab was Thanks. beautiful. Yeah, it was a beautiful jab. Thanks. I was like, damn, that's it. Yeah, I was nerve-wracking watching, but, like, I was like, she's doing it all. You know what I'm saying? Like these last, the because you're three and zero in your last three fights, and I feel like, um, I feel like these last fights, like you've showed, like a complete, like, you know, I could do it all. You know what I mean? Because the Courtney fight was like, you wrestled her. This uh, the Vanessa fight, which is another short notice kind of new opponent fight. You you know you mixed it up. You know what I'm saying? And then this fight, you sprawled. You you're pumping that jab out. You kind of showed it all. You know what I mean? With these last three fights, yeah. like I'm doing everything. Yeah, you know? I, I feel like we've grown a lot, you know, in the last year or so, changing up the gym and just, yeah, coaches, and I feel like we're we're in a good spot right now. Yeah, yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, um, so with, the, with like, these, because you know how these last two have played out, like, t- switched opponents the last, like, what, two, week and a half, two weeks or whatever? When, the yeah. fr- when it f- happened with Tracy, were you tripping? And then, like, now it's just like, you know what, it's happened, we've done this. It is what it is. We could just, it's whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think with Tracy, I was like, yeah, like I haven't had an opponent pull out in a long time. I was like, I was probably me, you know? Yeah. Um, but it was only 10 days out, so I was a little bit nervous on if they're going to be able to find somebody, like 10 days, like, mm-hmm. 
not a lot of 25 ers can make weight on your 10 day notice, you know? So I was like, man, I just hope they find somebody, you know, I haven't yeah. fought for a while. I, I've worked really hard this fight camp. I don't want it to go to waste. Um, so they ended up fighting Vanessa and, you know, she's super tough, and really good on the ground. So that was good. And then this last time, you know, I didn't see this one coming at all because it was like, yeah. it happened my last fight. So I was like, ah, it's not going to happen twice in a row. But with COVID and everything, <laughs> I guess you got to be prepared for it. But I was at the eye doctor getting my eyes dilated. So I was all blind and I come out and he's like, <laughs> uh, I talked to Pat. I was like, okay. I was like, what did he have to say? I was like, in a good mood. Yeah. He's like, oh, uh, <laughs> Ariana pulled out. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, blind? I was like, I can't tell if you're joking or not. Are you serious right now? He's like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? So, um, but I was a lot more like hopeful that they'd find somebody only because they're still three weeks. Yeah. Know, still just a bunch of time. So I was pretty hopeful. And then they ended up finding somebody the next day. It was like less than a day without an opponent. So, uh, yeah, I'm just appreciative that the UFC, you know, worked so hard to find somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Cause I was like, oh shit. I, cause I both those fights, I thought, uh, even though you, you won the last two that were pulled out, but, uh, that Tracy fight was, I was like, oh, this is it. You know what I mean? I was like, and then the Ariane, I was like, oh, this is it. And then I was like, yeah. So what, do you look at like getting those back or you're just like, fuck it, whatever. We'll just move forward and do what we got to. Um, at this point, like, I don't want to wait around for people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how injured they really are. Like, if they're going to need surgery or how long that's going to take. So mm. as soon as my opponent switched, I was like, all right, that fight's going to pass on. It's gone, you know, on to the next one. Yeah. And, um, and then after this one, you know, I'm on a three fight winning streak. So I'm trying to go up, I'm not trying to stay where I'm at or go back. So just, you know, depending on who they call me for, but yeah, I'm trying to go up. Yeah. So what do you, since then, what have you guys been doing? Just, are you still train it? Like, or have you guys went on a, like a little, like, all right, we're, ch- you know, a week or two. Uh, we always to... take a week off, you uh, know, just chill, collect ourselves. This, get stuff well, this, done. this one's a little different because now she's not hurt. Yeah. Uh, Most times she's a little banged up. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So this one this time it's a little different. I mean we still take our week off. Yeah, yeah. But it's a little different because it's like, oh I'm not even that hurt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like let's you know, I'm not even that sore. All right. Yeah. And then I have teammates in, in fight camp, so I wanna make sure I'm there for them the way they were for me. So oh, that's dope. you know, not being hurt. Just took our little week off and then right back to the gym. Nice. Yeah. How'd you guys meet? At the gym. At the gym. Yeah. Oh, okay. And where? Yeah. When you really? Oh, uh, and when? Where were you in your fight career when when you guys met? Uh, we were both amateurs. Both I amateurs. was still fighting locally. Um, yeah. So you guys have like watched, got the whole build together. That's what's up. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Like well, my, I, I my came last... from an, inter, uh, an amateur, and then we kind of like we fought in the same fight card for his last fight, mm. and then after that, we just kept kind of working together, and then yeah, all the way to the UFC together. So wow. Long time, ten years. That's what's up. I know because I see all these old pictures you guys be posting. I'm like, oh shit, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Look at all baby face. Yeah, that's crazy. So, like, when you're, is it like, are you able to like, is it a switch that you could turn off, Mike? Like, 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 um, like from because you're her partner. So it's like, I would, I would just be. I don't know, for me, it would be, I'm not in that game though. So it's like, it would be different. Like, is, are you? Is it all the same? Like, all right. Like when she's fighting, or is it like nerves are up fucking a hundred times, or is it just like another day? You know it's, what I mean? Like it's like a like there's like I mean I don't know how everybody else does yeah. it, but it's, there's like a fear, and then there's nerves, yes, and then there's just a calmness. But like kind of like all the nerves go, everything goes out the window as soon as the first strike is thrown, whether wow. it whether her opponent throws it, whether she throws it, whether it lands or it does it. That's when it all goes out the window. It's just like focus. Yeah. Leading up to that, it's like, oh man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Okay. Sometimes, sometimes I don't do a good job of like, like <laughs> this fight. I did a great job. I was like, we're gonna win this yeah, fight. Yeah. Hey, there yeah. ain't nothing. But like, uh, like, like after we were off a whole year because you know she broke her hand, like that first oh, yeah. party fight, I was like, you, you could see the difference in my nerves mm. for sure. Yeah. And I got like, I always try to do a better job of controlling it, but it's just it's just hard sometimes. I'm like, man, I just. It's not a, I mean, it is about winning, but it's yeah, like, yeah. I just need this girl to come home and want to Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. <laughs> just healthy and say, you know, safe, not banged yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I get yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's different. Yeah, I bet. Different. Yeah, that's crazy. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, you've looked in real good shape, man, for this one. I've seen you out there looking like you're kind of shredded. <laughs> for real. I was yeah, like, dude, look at Mike, man. Hell yeah, I've dude. Been working out, man. That's what's I up. Yeah, that's what's up. That's you. cool. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, what are you guys looking for next? You just going to just go with it or you guys want to? Like... Yeah, hopefully they call soon and we'll see what they offer, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not injured, so back to the back to the drawing board right away and just getting ready for whatever. You know, my last fight was pretty spread out, but I was working the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we grew a lot in yeah, the last. I think so, between too. Between camps, you know, really dialed in on a lot yeah. of stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited just to get back to the gym and learn, get better, and then they call fast, they call fast. Mm. If not, I'll be ready when they do. Oh, nice. Yeah, man, I t- yeah. do that jab, I swear. No, I, dude, it was beautiful because, like, not many. I feel like in MMA, you know, the jab is like an underutilized like weapon. And I feel like, man, when you have a a nice jab in any, whether it's MMA or boxing, it's like, bro, you, you know, it's weird that. Why do you think that is that people don't like use the jab as much in MMA like that? Right? You don't see it too much. I feel like that, but when you do, it's like beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. know, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I just like. Jillian, I knew, like, she's really good at, I mean, she she wants to get in on it. Yeah, for sure. like, It's not a secret in what her game plan yeah. is going to be from fight to fight. So, we knew we didn't want to overcommit and throw big, wide punches because that's how she gets people to the ground. So, I was like, man, just throw a jab and then Pump hit a sprawl. And yeah. that's all you got to do to win a fight. And that's, you know, it works. <laughs> yeah, for real, I think dude. it's more of, like, people just got to understand, like, it's a four-ounce glove. Anything hurts. Yeah. It doesn't have to be hard. Yeah, and you, you see know, those things. You know? Dude, yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Because anytime, for a, not all the time, of course, but for the most part, I feel like when you see somebody pumping a jab out there, it's doing work. And it's like, it's really effective, especially in MMA. And it's like, I just always wondered, like, seems like people don't use it as much in MMA as they should, you know? Uh, yeah. It's crazy. You said that Jillian has the most finishes in, in the strawweight division? Uh, flyweight, yeah. I mean, yeah, and sorry, I the flyweight like division, the yeah. Most takedowns as well. Damn, I, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I didn't even realize that. I was like, shoot, you know? Yeah, she be getting her choked, man. You can't play around with her, man. I, mean, <laughs> I, think that's what, I think that's what some people do is, like, they think they can play around with her. She'll snatch that neck yeah, up Yeah, and snag you up. Yeah, I was like, oh, you shit. I mean? Is that what made you know? You're like, I'm not throwing no kicks, man. Fuck that. I'm not giving her anything. Yeah, and you know, she came out kicking a lot. So I was like, I yeah. feel like this girl's trying to get me to kick at her. So ah, she's trying to <laughs> fuck her. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious. That's crazy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's fine. So, did, they finally, did they finally realize if I just jab with my head up? <laughs> yeah. Move, Hell yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Look good, man. Um, yep. Was So, she's not, Jillian's not ranked? Uh, she was, she but um, I think they've been mixing up the last, like the bottom, like four or five, days, yeah. getting people in and out of there a lot lately. So. Yeah. But yeah, she was ranked at one time. I think she was ranked when she fought um, Miranda. Yeah. Oh, really? And then she lost. Oh, I okay, think- yeah. Oh, I, I think so. I think that's who took her ranking. I think ah, right. okay. I was wondering. I was, are you worried about that? Or are you just like, man, bring it as it comes, you know? Or are you worried, like trying to get a 15 or a 14 I, or I something? I think at this point, like, you just got to fight who they put in front of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Except if you're, if you're in the bottom 15, like, 15 through 10, like, you're not probably going to just fight ranked opponents. Like, yeah. if you're a ranked, you got to fight girls that aren't ranked. You got to fight girls that are ranked. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you got to prove it. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta fight whoever they call you for. Nice. And yeah. if you deserve to be in the top 15, then, yeah. you know, you'll, you'll win those fights. Yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Um, So you guys are just working until the next call then, right? Yep. Yeah, working. Mm-hmm. Working, helping the teammates. You got, we got Montana here. Yeah, who's she um, fighting? Uh, Macy. Macy Barber. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's, oh, that's going to be a good fight. Yeah, that should be a good fight. Um, that's a real fun fight. And then uh, Lauren Mueller's been coming down. Oh, really? I guess she's, yeah, uh, uh, not Mueller, I'm sorry, Murphy. Oh, Murphy, yeah. Murphy. Uh, dude, I was, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, she's coming, she came down, and she uh, she seems to like it. So there, there's quite a bit going on. Oh, that's what's up. Really, you yeah, know? you're getting some so, work. So, yeah, trying to get some work. Off topic. And then Rose, of course. Oh, yeah, Rose is still out there getting yeah. it, yeah. Um, yeah. What's the weather like in Denver right now? Is it starting to be time where you guys like uh, plant stuff and, and like get busy with the plants? Not yet, not, not yet. yet. It's still, it's still crazy. You know, I mean, you could like 
I'm I'm gonna probably start mine maybe like the first of April. Uh, um, you know, getting my get my get my little seeds planted and mm-hmm. stuff. But for out this weather's wild, man. Yeah. I'm not like some people plant like Mother's Day weekend. Oh yeah, here. I remember you guys told me that. That's right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually I usually try to wait. This way, I mean, it, it there it, it gets it gets cold in May. It's like mm. it kill your stuff. It's like uh, yeah. I think the last two winters. We've gotten a real good snowstorm at like mid May. Oh, yeah. Really? Damn. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it so. kills your shit and it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Yeah. Plant inside for a little bit. Yeah, I got. Yeah, that's what yeah. I, I've got. Some indoor plants going. And I got to start. I got my whole. I got to. I'm cleaning out and just gonna start over. I think because I got cats. Really? Yeah, I got cats and they fucking. They piss and shit in it, and they. I think my. I think my plum tree is dead. You know, I had a plum tree that was producing plums, and fucking. They just all. I have two kitty litters out there for them. I clean daily, and they still fucking <laughs> choose to shit and piss in my tree, and it's like. I think it, it's supposed to be like starting to like show new life right now, and it's not. So I think it. <laughs> yeah. So I think it might be. I think it might be dead. I was just looking at it today, like, because last year I grew five plums, right? And I was like, Oh, sweet. Yeah, I was like this. I ate them. That was like this is awesome. I I grew plums, you know. And then this year I, I was I was always saying like next year I'm gonna probably get like ten plums, you know. And then mm-hmm. it doesn't even look like it's like giving new leaves, new life or anything. So I'm like, dang, I think they destroyed it. So I think I'm just going to clean house and just, I'm going to wait a little bit to make sure I know it's dead. And then, uh, I think I'm just going to clean house and fucking start. I had this really nice rose bush that I love. And they had like the prettiest roses and it smelled the best. They were, they were actually perfect. It was my favorite thing. And they came and cut down a tree by our house. Oh no. A branch fell on it. And I don't think it's going to make it. Oh man. No, we'll mess it up. We'll mess it up. They, they heard him say, oh, they won't notice. Like, oh, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's grimy. They won't notice. But I this... knew exactly what they meant. Oh, <laughs> so With sad. rose plants, though, you could, like, they're pretty resilient because you could trim them all the way down to the root, I think, and they still will will uh, yeah. come back. You know, I, I see people do yeah, that. I'm hoping. Least. Yeah, it might. I'm ho- we're, we're, we're being hopeful. Yeah, it might come back. You never know. Yeah, it's the yeah, worst. Yeah, like, I can I get so frustrated with plants, like when if something bad, like I, it's with, if something like when my cats mess up my plants, or like if I'm starting sprouts, they're like this, you know, they're like it's coming out of the little pot, and for whatever reason, cats like little stringy things, so they'll just rip it out, and I'll be like, dude, I just t- it took me for like two months to get that, you know, like yeah. so you it's, worked so hard on it, yeah, and it's we the have- worst. It's the worst. Our cat hasn't tried to jump on shit like that. Uh, really? Dude, yeah. my cat's a... But he's, I mean, he's a little bit out there, but... But he gets to go outside, like, really outside, right? Like... Oh, no, we have to let him, because then he yeah. starts doing shit like Ter- Exactly. <laughs> See, mine, I'm in an apartment, so, like, mine's, like, I have these two... They're, they get to go outside on the balcony, but I feel like if they had real a taste of outside life... They wouldn't be as destructive towards all my shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, if we don't if we don't let him out, he'll get on the counters and start knocking stuff off. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, trying yeah. to be get us mad to let him outside. Yeah, or start start fucking with the dog, start swiping him. It's like, man, oh, yeah. get out! <laughs> like, oh, get out of here, dude! Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, my cats are assholes. Cats are assholes, but they I love them. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah I, they, um, they're wild. They're uh, wild. Yeah, I mean, we could. Uh, so you guys are going to two seventy four, right? That's the plan. The yep. plan, yep. and you guys are driving out. I think. Yeah, we're gonna road trip. We're gonna. We're, we're not. We're not sure on what way we're going. Yeah. Like, cause I, I think you can go a couple ways, but we kind of want to see if we're gonna. I mean, the flights are way expensive from Denver. I don't know about from where you're at. But, Dude. Um, well, actually, I. Well, I found one that was cool from Friday to Monday. That was pretty, dude. It was like a round trip. I think it might be more now. I think I missed it, but it was like seventy-seven bucks round trip from San Francisco oh, no. to fucking to round trip to Phoenix, and uh, but it was from Friday to Monday. If you if I did Thursday like I normally do to Sunday, it's way more expensive, you know. But since I did oh, okay. Friday to leave Monday morning, it was like way. Che- I, I think I missed it though. I don't know if it's still there that flight. I think the cheapest we found was like three hundred bucks. Really? Yeah, oh, that, yeah and see, that's, that's what's making lot. this like. I know, man. That's what I. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's crazy, dude. I swear, when, my, when I first started going to UFC fights, and I would get these great seats for like 
150. You know, like sitting like on that second, fl- like not the floor, but right above the floor. You know, 100, yeah, 150 bucks. You'd be right there. <laughs> and now those seats are like six hundred dollars, and you're like, shit, dude. Everything. Is- I know. Right. And then oh. and then COVID ruined everything. So like back, it would you would have time to search seats and like look at things and like now it's like oh there's a seat grab gone sorry someone grabbed it and you're like i was just clicking it you know like it's like damn <laughs> yep, yep. so it's like yeah it's-, yeah it's great but i got my tickets so i'm going and uh it's gonna be fun and um i don't know what else i wanted to see the grand canyon but it's like it's like four hours a- it's like a four hour drive from yeah. from where i'm gonna where where everything is i guess so i was thinking i might rent have you been to the grand canyon when I, I think we both been, but when we were like kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah same. Yeah. So I don't know. It's pretty dope. I, is it? Because I'm trying. I can't remember that much. I'm trying to ask like if it's worth it. Because I'm gonna drive. I, I'll use the Sunday that I'm doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I'll just we'll just drive and see for four hours and see what else. Because yeah. you know, I'm because I like. <laughs> That's to, why I think also a road trip would be fun. Cause yeah. Things on the way and yeah. not just stuff in. Yeah, things. that's I know. I would like to do a road trip too. I would. uh yeah, because I like to go when I go. That's why I like when these fights do end up in random places. Because I'm like, all right, I've never really been out, but I don't know what's in Arizona. Like, what's in Phoenix besides the Grand or Arizona besides the Grand Canyon? Is there something there's else? There's a lot of like, just a lot of desert. A lot of it's, there's like a lot of Native American land, yeah. you know, and they have they have some cool stuff. Oh, maybe but, yeah. But like, they have some uh, they have some like cool like rivers and stuff like that. Um, and I, I I think it's called the Watering Hole. Mm. I think, and and, uh, and it's like blue water and shit. Oh shit! But you gotta stay like it's on the reservation, so oh. you gotta stay like three days. They they you at the minimum of three oh, days. So it's like, oh damn! Three days to stay, damn. Yeah, but it's pretty. It's I mean, if you look it up, it's actually I was like, oh, this is yeah. dope. I'll send you the video. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, see, I need to start seeing. I need to. Uh, I don't even actually. I don't have where I'm staying at yet, so I don't even know what. I don't. I haven't found where I'm going to stay. What do you do, Airbnb? I do, I'll look for what, honestly, I just look for the best deals, dude. I just, whatever it is, if it's Airbnb, if it's like on, uh, if it's, if it's like on, uh, what's that? It's that, where it's it's like I forgot what it's called booking maybe it's booking dot com or something like oh, that the hotel? where it just shows the hotels it shows a, people's apartment it's kind of like Airbnbs too but like I, I look yeah. for whatever gives me the best deal because all I'm gonna do is sleep there you know what I mean like I'm yeah, gonna be exactly. out you know I'm gonna be outside so I I want to just sleep there and I'll just hit the streets and just run around and knock things out but yeah, I, it's gonna be hot as- yeah it's gonna be hella hot huh <laughs> yeah Damn. it's gonna be hella hella hot, hot. like what uh, damn already in in May. Oh shit, man! I, I, years ago, I went. Year, I mean, this was a long time ago. This was probably twelve, thirteen years ago. I went in April to Arizona for to yeah. help to corner these guys in a fight. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we drove to it was uh, well, shit. I can't remember. It's by Flagstaff, but we ended up flying to Phoenix, and we had to rent a car and we drove up to like up that way. Man, the fucking canvas was hot. It was like 100 degrees out there. Oh, fuck. I was, damn, really? I was thinking it's, since it's May, it's maybe 80. Oh, shit. We're, no. It's already. <laughs> damn, I hate that. Dude. I was thinking, I was like, all right, it's May. It's the top of spring. It's going to be 80. I was like, 85, you know, cool, whatever. 85 is probably their winter. <laughs> when, have you ever been to Vegas in the summer? Uh, no, I've only been to Vegas once, actually. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, with you guys, <laughs> or like yeah, that day. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't even remember what was. That was January. That was yeah, January. Yeah, 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 that was January. Yeah, okay, and that's it. Actually. And I haven't been back since. Fuck that place. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> that place. That place changed my life, man. I was like, damn. I was like, yeah, that place changed my life. Fuck that place. But I'm. I, I, <laughs> but now, no, now I don't try. I'm way better now. I'm responsible now. Plus, I have a girlfriend now, so it's like. I'm not. I'm not wilding out, and I'm not gonna be running the streets and like getting fucked off. Does she like fighting, or does she think you're crazy that you like? She, no, she's coming with. She went to the Rose fight. She's coming with me to this fight too. So it's like, oh, I, cool. yeah, I got her on it. I got her fucking with you guys. I got her fucking with Rose. So it's it's all good. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Awesome. Yeah, I, yeah. So it's dope. So and she, yeah, she doesn't mind. So like we could travel and do these things and watch the fights together. You know what I'm saying? So it yeah, works. That's dope. It works. And then I don't have to be out there fucking. Fucking ending up shit faced in fucking places and not knowing what the fuck is even going on, you know what I'm saying? So 
Uh, uh, yeah, that damn one, poor guy. Yeah, that one. That one changed my life. That one was like, all right, this is it, bro. I went like a few <laughs> years without a drink. You know, I was like, we're not doing this. Oh, that's good. Man. Yeah, I was like, I gotta separate myself before I have my next drink. You know, and then uh, you gotta get your shit together, huh? Like, dude, hey. I did because I was like sitting in there like. No way. I was like, no fucking way. Like, this is crazy. And then once I got out, I was like, I'm never coming back. I was like, I'm never coming back to this place. I was like, this is the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. you can't be there alone. You can't be in Vegas I'd alone. Probably, hey, I'm not even in life. That was me. I'd probably be like, I ain't even going to court. Fuck that place. Dude, that, and that's what I, it, it was right in the beginning of when COVID hit, too. So I was like, so I was like, uh. I was like, oh, shit. I wrote the judge a letter, and I was like, please, I'll never come back to your state. I was like, I don't even want to. I was like, just don't do nothing. And then they called me, like, the day of and was like, we got your letter. Charges dismissed. Don't come back. And I was like, I'm out. Never again. So I was like, thank you, you know. And then I was just like, that's it, you know. But, yeah, it was, yeah. That, that was a game changer for me where I was like, no more of this. We got to take a step back, you know. Yeah. So I was like, fuck that. But uh, Vegas is wild. We we try to get in and out too. Like we yeah. Like this last fight, we you know we got yeah. there on Monday. Uh, we like to get there Monday, but we got there Monday, and shit, our flight I think on Sunday morning left at like six a.m. We're out. Oh yeah, yeah. See that? That's why. Yeah. Next time you guys fight, I want you guys to be somewhere. I'll go to Vegas. I'll go to Vegas. You know what I mean? But uh. I just yeah, I think I'm gonna get in and out too. I'm just gonna get there and leave. Yeah. I have a friend. I, we uh, we have a friend that we used to work with. He likes to go to fights too. Mm-hmm. He loves. Go- he goes. He, well, I, not all of them, but the Vegas ones. He normally goes yeah. to like pay per views. Um and shit. He flies in Saturday morning, leaves Sunday morning. Yeah, he see, don't even get a room. Just, that's what I was thinking. That's what I'm thinking about doing. You know, I was thinking about doing yeah. that. So it's like, yeah, if you guys ever fight in Apex again, I might just show up out there and then even if you can't get in the fight, but then I'd have to like roam around. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear they're, I hear they're gonna put seats. They're, they're building on to put more seats. That's creation. what I heard too, but I don't think they're selling. Like, are they selling them to people like us? I that I don't know. Okay, that I'm not. I mean, I'm assuming they would yeah. have. I mean, it would be smart to open it up to not just people that have money. Yeah, open it up to everybody. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Yeah, but oh, you know, who knows? Yeah, because I, I was like, when JJ had to, you know, had to do a Usada, Usada test. And uh, me and the other coach, we were like sitting there waiting, and this couple walks by, and I was like, "Okay, these people, everybody here has money. Like, yeah. I don't even know if they like fighting. They just yeah, yeah they just yeah, they're just showing their wealth. <laughs> like, we're here because yeah. you know, people do do that, yeah. and they're just like on their yeah. phone the whole time. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah, nuts. So. But um, yeah, I mean, we you guys gave me thirty minutes. That's that's perfectly fine. I appreciate it. Uh. But if we, if uh, so, you guys don't know exactly when you'll end up in Arizona, but you will. I mean, yeah, we 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 have an idea of when we're going to leave. I'm not sure. I mean, it's either going to be a Thursday or a Friday. Okay. Well, I mean, not a thir- I mean, I'm sorry, a Wednesday or a Thursday. Oh, okay. Because we're gonna we're gonna do a road trip, but like we like to do them like you go like shit. The last one we did when we went to South Carolina, we bought the airline tickets, we reserved the car, we didn't even have a place to stay, then we like found a place on the way. Oh, nice. It's kind of cool you know, like that, so though. Like, yeah, yeah kind of, so it's like, that's how we'll probably do it this one. Yeah. Well, all right. And then if we don't find nothing, we drive straight through. Well, yeah, let me know if you guys, uh, when you guys get out there. I'll be out there Friday. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do okay. Friday to Monday. And uh, if you guys want to go eat lunch or, or get some dinner, I got, I owe you guys a, a lunch or a dinner, so... It's, you know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's all good, man. We'll yeah. We'll meet up. Yeah. All right. Cool. Hell yeah. Well, uh, yeah. thank you guys both for doing this. I really appreciate it, man. It's an honor for me to uh, get some time from you guys. You know, I really do appreciate of course. it. No Anytime. problem. Anytime. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. Peace out, man. All right, bye. All right. Bye. Later. Yeah.